This is just uh, very easygoing weather with hardly a cloud forming around here. The north wind coming down and it's cool, it's dry, feels refreshing. If you are headed to the beaches, north shore of Long Island, you get cool because you're going to get the influence of some of that water uh, air. And then south facing shore, you've got a land breeze today. If you're going to the Jersey Shore, I uh, know that there'll be a north wind dominant through much of the day. And then later on this evening towards sunset, we turn out of the southeast. Waves up to two feet, water temperature readings at the buoy, 77 degrees. And the rip current risk today is low, but a reminder to check in with your lifeguards. This is the water vapor uh, imagery, and it shows areas in green with a lot of moisture. So no question, as the hurricane has made landfall, we've got drenching storms. And again, measuring this rainfall here before all is said and done in feet, not inches. Uh, precip rates right now just on the north side of the storm are just over an inch per hour. So rain still dumping as the storm has moved ashore. These spots decorating the map are storm reports with wind speeds above 100 miles an hour. And so even inland, we're seeing an incredibly fierce wind. Harvey itself is moving at 85 miles an hour. Northwest, uh, it's moving northwest at six miles an hour with 85 mile an hour winds. So starting to decrease with the winds, but still gonna be sitting there and sort of hanging out. Watch the future the time runs, but the rain, especially over Houston tomorrow morning, will continue to be very intense. Right through Sunday at 11 o'clock at night, we've got red and orange bands across the area showing a lot of rainfall finally moving offshore late on Monday night. For us around here, dry skies prevail through the weekend, so if you have plans throughout the day today, all the way through Sunday, lots of sunshine and temperatures pretty easy to take. Mid-70s for the Catskills, Jersey Shore, and Hamptons. Maybe even find a cooler temperature uh, at the Hamptons in the low 70s. Here in the city, 76 for the high, 62 for the low, and 50s in the outlying areas. And then the AccuWeather seven-day forecast puts us at 76 tomorrow. And looking down the stretch, we don't see any days that are really above average. We can make it to 80 degrees possibly as we get into Thursday. Or even right now, we're calling for 78, but that will really be pushing it. Um, cloudy with some drizzle on Tuesday, so we took the numbers down to 73 that day. But uh, that shows we can be at least 7, 8 degrees below average right through the middle of the week. So lots okay. to pay attention to with the mm -hmm. weather, um, even though ours is, is beautiful, just keeping an eye on what's happening with Harvey is important. All right, good deal. Thanks. Thank you. I love talking to you because you know all this stuff. Very mm -hmm. interesting. <laughs> a new movie opening in theaters this weekend tells a heartbreaking story that came right out of Brooklyn. An immigrant mm -hmm. from Trinidad was falsely accused of murder and spent decades in prison before he was exonerated. Entertainment reporter Sandy Kenyon has a preview for you. Crown Heights tells a real story about a miscarriage of justice in our city.